Are you thinking about moving here to Friendswood, Texas? Well, in today's video, we're gonna go on a map tour. We're gonna dive into my computer and I'm gonna show you around Friendswood. I'm gonna talk to you about the location and show you tangibly where it's located in proximity to Houston and its surrounding suburbs. We're gonna talk about the commutes if you're looking to commute to downtown or possibly the medical center. Uh, if you want to travel, we're, we'll talk about the commute to Hobby Airport, which is pretty close by. And then let's say you want to get out on the beach. We're going to show you what it looks like to commute down to Galveston for the day. And we're also going to show you around Friendswood, show you how the neighborhoods are laid out, explain what your better shopping options are going to be there. So if you want to know more about Friendswood, Texas, this video is just for you. Let's get after it right now. Okay, so before we dive in, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel, tap that bell for notifications. That way we can keep you up to date on everything going on right here in Houston, Texas. My name is Kyler Ferris and our team, we get calls, texts, and emails all the time from people just like you looking to move to Houston. So if that is you, don't be shy. Just give us a call, shoot us a quick text or send us an email and we'll help you guys make a smooth move here to Houston. So let's dive in. I have right here in front of me, uh, my computer screen pulled up. I got Friendswood. So Friendswood, let's talk about just general location. So Friendswood is going to be southeast of Houston. Um, the way that the freeways here are laid out, you've got I-45, which is kind of your major north-south. But once it hits into Houston, it, it heads on down to Galveston. And so I-45 is the freeway that connects Galveston all the way, if you zoom out, all the way up to Dallas. So it's a major freeway here. And that's going to be the major freeway closest to Friendswood. So Friendswood, let's just start by saying Friendswood is one of the smaller Houston suburbs. It's, it's, we call it the hidden secret of Houston in terms of suburbs. It's a really nice suburb. If you haven't already, go check out our vlog where we do a deep dive into that. Um, do that after this video though, because they're two different uh, topics. And so this video is really to show you around Friendswood. So here we've got Friendswood and Friendswood kind of is squished in between a couple other larger suburbs. So you've got Pearland, which is gonna go from 288 all the way over here to Telephone Road, which is I-35. And just for reference, I-35 is uh, a very small road with a bunch of stoplights. It's not a major freeway. So if you live in Friendswood and you are commuting uh, into downtown or to the airport or anywhere, you're gonna be using I-45. And I-45 is a massive freeway. It's a great freeway. It can get congested at times. And so let's just throw in Friendswood to downtown Houston. So Friendswood to downtown, you're looking with no traffic at a 30 minute commute. So it's actually really doable. It's a great um, uh, bedroom neighborhood for the Houston area if you wanna keep that commute down. Um, now, when there is traffic, it could get up to a 45 minute, 50 minute commute in the worst case scenarios, but uh, 30 minutes pretty close overall. I would say there's only a couple suburbs in the Houston area that are closer in. Pearland's slightly closer in because you can take 288. But, um, but yeah, Friendswood is definitely gonna be closer than the Woodlands. The Woodlands is about a 40, 45 minute commute. Same thing with Katy. So if you wanna knock that 15 minutes off of your drive time every day, and you want a really nice cozy Houston suburb, Friendswood's a good option. It's also a really great option if you're looking to fly in and out of Hobby Airport. So Hobby Airport is only 20 minutes away. This is an international airport. I've, I prefer flying out of Hobby out of the two airports here in the Houston area. It's the smaller of the two airports and it's also the hub for Southwest Airlines. So uh, I like flying Southwest. Uh, and so it's just, it's just the better airport in my opinion. Intercontinental just has too much going on. And so if you're gonna be traveling a lot, you get to pick which airline you wanna use and you're okay and wanting to live on the south side of Houston, Friendswood is a, a great location for that. Now, if you wanted to take a day trip down to the beach, another benefit of living here on the south side of Houston is just gonna be uh, the proximity to the coast. So if we zoom out, you can see the Gulf Coast right along here and you've got Galveston. Galveston's a 26 mile barrier island. It's really cool. It's a great place. A lot of tourists every year, um, but they've got the Pleasure Pier down here. And uh, we actually owned a condo down there for a few years. We love it. We'll take the, the family down there. So let's just plug in Galveston and show you what that looks like. 
So a 40 minute drive. So quite literally, you could, you could go down to the beach for lunch if you wanted to. That's not as realistic if you're living up here on the north side of Houston. Um, it's, it's more of a you know, overnight trip. Uh, but this is easily a day trip if you're living in the Friendswood area. Now, there are a couple things around Friendswood. Uh, in fact, Google is hinting at it right here that I think are, are very cool. You've got the Space Center. So the Space Center isn't in Friendswood, but uh, it's very close by. It says 18 minutes. It's really like 10 minutes from over here. Um, and yeah, you're going to have the Space Center, a really cool place to take the kids growing up. This is where, if you've ever heard of you know, Houston, we have a problem. This is mission control after the, the rockets are launched in Florida. I think it's within like 10 seconds, Houston, Houston takes over. And so, uh, yeah, great place. We did field trips there as kids growing up. Now, as far as shopping goes in Friendswood, uh, your best bet for shopping is gonna be the Baybrook Mall. It's got a little bit of everything and it's right on the bordering edge of Friendswood and League City. So Baybrook Mall technically is kind of in between the two, but it's definitely your major shopping hub. It's got tons of great uh, bars, restaurants. We filmed our pros and cons video of Friendswood right there at the Baybrook Mall. It's also in our vlog. So go check those out. Those will give you uh, a good look and feel for, for what all is over there as far as amenities go. But Friendswood doesn't lack any amenities. It's got a little bit of everything. Uh, but the, the pros to Friendswood are that it being a smaller uh, suburb than some of these others, there's less through traffic in Friendswood. Uh, it really is just a, a smaller feel. So as you can see here, um, and then you also have really good neighborhood parks. Um, you've got local public parks that we cover in the vlog. You've got Stevenson Park. And one of the bigger draws to Friendswood is gonna be the school system. So if you look at a, a map, Friendswood is actually not in Harris County. So Harris County covers almost the entire Houston area. Uh, and Friendswood is actually down here in Galveston County. And so it is uh, smaller and outside of that, let me show you Galveston County. Perfect. So as you can see, League City and Friendswood are gonna be in Galveston County. So when you're looking up school ratings, uh, don't be confused. Friendswood has some of the best schools in the entire Houston area. They just aren't in Harris County, so they might not be ranked next to those schools. Uh, Friendswood just has one major high school and only a few schools feeding into that. So it's definitely probably the most tight knit suburb that we've covered. Uh, just for an example, uh, you know, the Woodlands has two high schools in it, the technically three if you count Tomball. And then you've got uh, Katy, which has like eight high schools. And I wanna say Cypress Fairbanks has 12. So Friendswood only has one. So that should give you a good idea of kind of the size difference between the two. So. Hopefully this helps you uh, see how Friendswood's laid out. You're just south of the loop as well of Beltway 8, which is a toll road that runs around Houston. And so you've got an inner loop, which is 610. You got Beltway 8. And so if you do want to commute anywhere in or around the Houston area and you don't want to cut through downtown, this is a really good option for you. I, I do have to mention Friendswood's a really great place to live if you're going to be commuting to work in the refineries over in Laporte or, or Baytown. Um, anywhere out over here, even Channel View, uh, you probably would prefer to live in Friendswood than actually over near the refineries. It's just a nicer area. And so it, it makes, it cuts down on that commute. I'll just show you really quick. So let's just say you wanted to commute from Friendswood over to Baytown. So 35 minute drive, 37 minute drive, really not that bad. Uh, definitely worth uh, that commute if you're gonna be working at the refineries and don't wanna live near them highly recommend looking at Friendswood. It's probably your closest, really nice suburb um, as far as commute, unless you, unless you want to live somewhere on the north side of town. So, all right, that wraps it up. I hope this helps you guys. If you have any questions, we really mean it. Like we always say, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us a quick email. We really do help clients every single day. People just like you that are looking to move here to the Houston area. I just left with some YouTube clients while we were filming this and I'm about to go meet them again. They're in town checking out the area. That's what we do. So um, leave some comments below, show some love and let us know what other videos you would like us to make and we will see you guys in the next one.